in the in the car land. Let all of that to intervene. But this is getting too much. We are not saving. We are not fighting. Well, we are not farming again. Everybody now is at home. So how can we do this thing now? We are begging. We are pleading that you help to make sure say to keep our uh, a kingdom go. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You are welcome, sir. Uh, Chairman, uh, according to your statement, you said they killed up to 14 people that they kidnapped. How did you know about it that people were killed, the ones that they kidnapped? Okay, uh, the one among the 15 that when they kidnapped, the one survived when come back yesterday. Because normally before when they record, I'm the one who calling them, we were negotiating. So end of the day now when other people, about 14 people, no respond, they're not the money to break. So that's why the other one now will survive. So that one is the one who gives them two million. So because of that two million now, the release that one is the one who come back and tell us say that we give almost about 14 people. I can see you and your men, everyone here are gallant. I can see that the job that you people have done this morning is very well welcoming our wicked community. The car people in Delta. Anyway, it is. Uh, the old phenomenon going on uh, in Nigeria. People have to resort to protecting themselves or defending themselves with whatever they can get or use or else. Mm. We are all just uh, awaiting disaster. Okay? Now let's go a little bit uh, further. I do not... Give me a circle. Uh -huh. That's a call. I don't know if I should show you that uh, now or not. But let's go to Lagos. You know, they just uh, fixed uh, the uh, third mainland bridge in Lagos, right? And according to uh, the report, it seems to be so really cool. I saw videos of uh, those who were driving on the on the newly resurfaced or newly refurbished uh, third mainland uh, bridge. But somebody sent me a message today and said, they said the, the road is too smooth. Their cars were going too smooth and they're like sliding. I was like, what does that even mean? Like, is it that it's not good or it is too, it is too good for the Nigerian cars or Nigerian, uh, I mean, sorry, for the Lagos uh, vehicles? Then while we were trying to kind of have a chat around that, they also sent me a message that another, I mean, a Danko, a commercial bus uh, lost its control on the road and why struggling you know in that uh, state of confusion right that's that state of uh, loss i just flung two of his passengers inside the ocean i mean inside the lagoon it's an accident okay it was like downfall did they leave the door open on the uh, third mainland bridge like the conductor will stay at the uh, you know at the entrance of the door and it'll just be there like and then they'll pop, pop, and then like that he said two people just like go flung into the into the lagoon we do not know if there is any casualty though, okay but here is uh, a picture or a video from the scene Happening live. Thank you. Come on, Who's going to have the bag? The best is still there, alive. Uh, we are. Hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come and the person, if that's it, it's a bit of water. 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 Now, here it is. Don't go down. Don't go down. Jesus Christ. Name. Be a good phone. Check your phone. Why are you at this one? Huh? Okay. Uh, today, which was on the 10th of April 2024. We have at 11, 10 minutes after 11, we have a road crash accident very close to Adeniji uh, bypass. Uh, that is an LT commercial bus that is 22 passengers that had a brick failure and it was on L3 on high speed. In the process, he ran himself to the barrier on the side of the Tormilan Bridge. And of course, 
two adults were plunged into the lagoon. So then the next phase of the operation is that uh, having recovered the wreckage and the victims taken to the nearby hospital for further treatment, the next action is a search and rescue operations on the waterway. And that is what we are collaborating together with uh, Marine Police, NEMA, and uh, LASWA, and uh, NEWA. You know, it's Lagos now, so yeah, uh, the lagoon has, uh, you know, sort of uh, the third mainland bridge has probably enough uh, rescue personnel uh, to help out uh, the victims. So the way they describe it for me was that the road was too smooth. No, the guy lost his brake. You know that uh, losing your brake is like a normal thing in Nigeria. It's not normal. But when I say normal, it's like something we hear all the time. Sometimes when I am driving, I do imagine all more. Hey, 75, 80. Or more if this break just feel like this or more. I'll body, let's say Jesu. I could just sing down as a body, let's say Jesu. You know that kind of thing? You imagine it, you are driving like. And it's just like, and you look at this video, I was like 78, 80. And there's something just says, um, imagine it, the break fail. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? I don't know. Immediately like that, I will just bring my foot up like, all right, let's go back to the normal speed, 70. In fact, 70 is too much. Let's go to 60. You know that time that just, something just says, slow down. In Lagos, break law. Some see the, the guy who ran into the barrier or ran, uh, ran to the barrier. He believes that the barrier will stop him. He was on top speed, discovered that there is no break anymore. On um, new road, this new road. Ah, one cool base. Ah, Ogami be warning. Ogami be warning. Be warning. Be warning. Try the base. Oh, um, my break your shame up. Lanko break yo shishemo this break no the catch against ah ogami be let me be break yo shishé use arm break now arm break no day Lanko ah I'm gonna break yo shishemo ogami what you go do now what you go do now eh ogami say don't worry don't worry I'm, I will improvise bars on the wall good enough nobody died I'm not not reported yet I mean so the person who told me that uh, it was because the road was too good for the Nigeria for the Lagos car was like. No, it's probably like, you know, it's probably like uh, the uh, vehicles are completely supposed to be off-road. They shouldn't be on the road anymore. And if you are looking for that, uh, there are many, okay? I, I remember when I was uh, in Odogbolu, there was this segment. This segment used to kind of, he made his own car. I've told you this story before. This segment made his own car, okay? The, the engine. Is like uh, the engine of a uh, bed pot or engine of Dasun. The body of that uh, truck, he built a truck for himself, right? The body of the, the front side of the truck, that one was like uh, Toyota. The back side of uh, the truck was like uh, maybe a uh, Mazda. Yeah. The, what else can I pick up from the body of the truck anyway? To the point that uh, when a, a machine was a uh, truck, whenever a machine was truck is coming, was coming, you won't know where it's facing. You know, this is how a car should be. A motionless car be like this. You know, this is my hand now, like this. And like this, they go. Instead of going like this, eh? when a machine finish building his car, and like this, they go. The car, will fa the car will be coming towards you, but it will be looking at that side. Kind of. And if you see this, whenever, you know, when this boy is, uh, you know, whenever it brings in the, uh, the farm produce, like, you know, people who, who are like, uh, who went to the farm, who are their farm producers that they need to bring. In fact, the traders who buy things from the farmers, direct from the farm, they work with the Boshino. But by, sometimes you will see the truck, it will be like, say, one break into two. Like that. You know, imagine, imagine instead of your car to be coming like this, but the car is like that, and it's coming to you like that. And you're like, ah, see, is that a car or what? Kind of Niger, they get cars that shouldn't be on the road. 
So if you now carry down and go to the mainland bridge, the car may be too sweet. I mean, so the road may be too sweet for the car, and the car will just lose its mind, lose its brake. Anyway, that's just like a side joke. It's not meant to be funny. I just thought I should. Uh, because I was trying to, to imagine what could have happened until they said, no, it's brake failure. Oh, that's clear. And it is not that the road was too good or too smooth for their cars. I have a, uh, you know, a big brother here who is also in Nigeria right now. He said when he heard about the crash, you know what he did? He canceled his visit to the island. I said, why? He said, no, nah. they said the road is, they said the new road is like a slippery. That it was too good, it's slippery. I said, ah, Baba, how road could they slippery like that? When snow, no day. He said, well, I have to cancel it. I don't want to try. I don't want to go on that road. I don't want to be the victim. I said, okay, that's better. So, Baba, now you know. Now the brake fail, though. Nobody said the road, though. Everyone, you can still go ahead there and visit Thailand. Maybe tomorrow. But don't speed. I mean, good road won't uh, overwhelm you. I don't think so. Because you came from a, a place where good road eh, is not a luxury. It is a... Uh, you know, it is a basic. So somebody said I should, which is a one true emperor, said he wanted to hear from a Tifnumbu. Well, Paul, who was uh, at the Dodon Barak praying ground today. Happy Idil Petri, by the way. I mean, I, I got so much on my plate earlier that I forgot to say Happy Idil Petri. Happy Idil Petri to all of you uh, who celebrated uh, that today. And keep my own, uh, keep my ram or keep my meat if you can. As for Kolu, this was how it went. The Dumbarax this morning. <laughs> I'm sorry, I because that just reminded me. I, I mean, I remember that line, that, that line they are reciting. So I started looking for, you know, I started looking for the video so that uh, I can recite it uh, with you. I'm just a wada, wanuzara abda, waza junda, waza moniaza bawada, la ila ila la, kurisino, laudino. I don't know. I used to read all that, by the way, right? That was what they were reading at uh, or reciting when Kolu walked in. Then after that, you want your emperor? You said you wanted to see Kolu. Here is his message. Pacifia and Pacifia and baby walk kind of talk. Listen. Thirty days of religious obligations and supplications in the month of Ramadan end with Eid prayers. President Bola Tinubu, who severally implored Nigerians to protect the dignity of the country, would continue here. But coming first was the two standing prayer led by the chief imam of Lagos State, Sheikh Suleiman Oluwatoyi Abunola. Allah, Allah. 
The sermon of a chief imam coincidentally reflected the position of a president as he urged Nigerians to shun all acts of violence, ensure peaceful coexistence, and continue to have faith in the country. He challenged those in leadership positions to remain faithful to their oath of office and work towards alleviating the plight of the less privileged. Familiar faces and other faithful had the privilege of presidential handshake. And the president wants Muslims and indeed all Nigerians to maintain spirits of patriotism and be ready to play their role in the Project Nigeria. The kind of uh, resilience, sacrifice, endurance that we have, we should preserve that for the country. Be kind and be cheerful giver. Love our country better than any other country. That's the only one that we have. And we must continue to pre protect the integrity of our government and leadership. And from the stable of renewed hope, our assurances that this agenda would not fail Nigerians. The new hope is alive, well, and fine, and uh, Nigerians will continue to be very hopeful. Without hope, there is no salvation. Without hope, there is no development. Without hope, there is no life. Earlier, New Zans Lili. New Zans Lili. Abba Wiri. Call you. He said he's a shameful giver, integrity of our country, uh, our resilience, and hope without, I mean, I, I, I can't really quote Kolu. Have you noticed? I can't really quote him. It is hard to quote and say, okay, Kolu says something and you want to say them. Over my knee, brain, keloting pain, you go get brain anorexia or something like that i don't know the meaning but i just think it's something bad okay like when something bad happened to you maybe there is not even any word if there's no it's no word like an anore an anorexia or something right no user like that something bad sharply happens don't try to i've never really tried I, I have tried but i do not really want to okay so yeah I said something about uh, that word you are reciting there earlier, and I'm not even doing this to brag, okay? It just suddenly just brought back something when I see what's uh, Omoli Kewu there, right? See that video, I found it. Listen, no. And just a wada, Wanozara Abda, Waza Junda, Waza Monia Sabawa. La ila ila la. Kuris, la yao. Kurisino, la udina. And I got a cafe. Oh, Motipego. Like I shouldn't forget to, boy, you know me, eh? I told you when I was uh, called uh, Rashid, I was raised as Muslim partly, and I was also raised as a Christian until when I got to a stage and I was like, uh, I do not believe in both anymore. And I still do not believe that all would never believe in both. I respect everybody. Because you know something, what that religion, religion stuff, or when I was part of that, what it did for me is that it gave me an opportunity to understand the religion. And when I did my findings, right? It is never going to be anything for me like that. You get that now. But it gave me a chance to respect you, everyone who is like religious, you know, like. Yeah. I respect you. I will never disrespect you, except uh, when I see that you are using that your religion as a threat to cover up a bad stuff. Like when I see something bad, I want to say it, and you're like, no, my ego, leave that one alone. Why are you? Leave, leave, be very careful, eh? You know that, uh, you know, all this man of God, eh? you need to be very careful. My Yegun, that means you are using your religion to threaten me. And I will lose it. I shake with what you are to religion. So you get. Uh, so it gave me a chance to, and that's why I said, 
Majority of those who are parading themselves as religious people in Nigeria as come as businessmen and women, right? Some of them, they are like, for those ones who are Christians, because they feel read the Bible, you know, go read them. You just say something. You don't even know where it is. Ah, ah, my head deep. That man is so deep. He's so deep. When he was praying for me like this, I felt Baba Koshidano. I don't got to feel it, don't felt it. Anyway, the other ones are those who sabi read there, who sabi read Arabic. So if I sit down here and I'm like, what is in the Amen. 